Hello and welcome to Reading Bluecoat School where they are taking on Bryanston in the under 18 schools bars Southwest B regional final. It is a massive day here at Reading Bluecoat. The Carried hard there from James Stewart. Already Reading Bluecoat into the 22 and looking threatening in the opening moments and Thomas David opens the scoring what a dream start for Reading Bluecoat on the right hand side Thomas David sends the crowd into ecstasy the game barely even 30 seconds old and we see here the confidence from uh, from Dexter to go wide with that big spin pass early on and David just had the space on the outside what a beginning for Reading Bluecoat. Callum Perkins has nicked that one for Bluecoat. Hard line off that from Matt Crook. And they get the ball wide. Monty He around the outside. Monty He. The head boy. Crossing the whitewash. On the outside. Sorry. Well, what an offload from Crook at first. I hadn't seen that properly, but the offload just getting the extra numbers out wide. And Heath with the simple running in the end. With the backs here. They've got David offering short and Crook offering out the back. Dexter gets it and he goes out the back to Crook who gets on the outside, still holds on to it. But if he can get the pass away, the tries there. He doesn't need to get the pass away. Matt Crook. Dummy central. Yeah, I think Christian might have been disappointed not to get the pass there, but uh, Matt's in my level P class, actually, so no doubt we'll be watching that one on repeat for, uh, for several lessons now. He did think about giving a pass two or three times and then uh, play. Until now, West goes out to Dexter. David stepping, stuttering, bounces the first man, taken down by the second. Leave it white. Huge contest at the breakdown, but West just about finds it. As he darts through, gets the offload away, Seddon. Oh, lovely try. Monty Heath. With the glorious footwork and the pass back inside to Jamie Seddon, who'd come in off his wing. Really well to win this ruck. West had a little look and decided to go the other way. Monty went through and just that little pop back inside to Jamie on his shoulder. And terrific. Just the left of the post was, was a super try. Glorious stuff from Heath. Professional with uh, London Irish and the uh, London Irish squad. He's just gone on, out on loan to Amptel uh, to, to get some game time. But I know Joe's really looking to follow in his footsteps as well. And he's certainly Stay playing straight. like a man who could well do that these days. Perkins brought the line out down. David with the big crash. And Crook is going to go over for another try for Reading Bluecoat. This is utterly sensational from Reading Bluecoat. Well, that smart to Perkins combination and okay. then the centre combination I'm, I'm okay. of David and Crook. Absolutely. Tom doing the, the, the hard hit up and Matt using his feet to just, just go in un, under the posts. Bryanson, loads of depth in their back line. As Johnson attacks the line himself, goes through, clean through. Tom Johnson, the skipper, with a captain's try for Bryanson. A much needed score. And perhaps it was that that had eyes wondering. And Johnson just tucked the ball under one arm and off he went. Yeah, straight through. It looked like there was a little bit of miscommunication, the blue coat defence there, and he certainly spotted it and went, and went through the hole. I've only had my neck tilted to the right all game. Bryson surging forward through the mall. Irresistible right, momentum here. Down. Just comes under down short. Steam. Under its own Let steam, go, says the referee. They go blind. Are they over? Yes, they are. And I think it's that man Johnson again, who just squirted around the back. Christie released him, and Johnson showing good power to break through the first tackle and then gets himself over the try line. Patience may just about do it. Perkins challenges at the line out, and Bryanston go wide early, but it's intercepted from Crook. Could this be the game? Crook charging for the line. That's the hat trick. 
That's the quarterfinals. Red and blue coat and Matt Crook. That uh, really should be the, w the winning score now. Uh, I know Bryanston are going to keep going through, but super little intercept there by Matty Crook. As I said, my next A-level P lesson with him is going to be painful as he talks me through all these tries. The hat-trick hero, Matthew Crook. Uh, super running skills with Johnson on the left. Be interested to see where they go. They go towards Johnson. Fizzes it wide to his centre channel. Out to Heffer, and Heffer runs in. Bryanston's third try. It may not get them back into this game, but it certainly restores a bit of pride. Moving forwards, nice sharp pass out, out from nine, then a, then a really nice pass out the back, and just out and round the outside. Yeah, Heffer with the finish, dots it down. Attack and defence, and he's made a good hit once again, but Heffer... Uh, a nice charging. little break from Christy there as well. Christy looks really, really good attacking around the fringes. That's it, the referee's brought it to an end. He certainly has, and it's a famous victory for Reading Bluecoat. They go through to the quarterfinals of the under-18 schools bars, winning this Southwest B section, but more importantly, winning this game against Bryanston in stunning fashion, 40 points to 19. It was a glorious first half that did it.